Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Bucket Rehab. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the carburetor of this old Ford CL340 with the Wisconsin VH4D motor in it. The VH4D Wisconsin motor has a Zenith carburetor. I have actually fixed these carburetors, the Zenith carburetors, on a Ford tractor in the field before. It's not a very complicated carburetor to clean out and repair. You can buy a uh, rebuild kit for these, which has your seals and um, et cetera, et cetera in it. I have uh, generally just taken them apart and cleaned them and put them back together again. As long as my seals and gaskets don't rip or tear, they tend to be okay. Now the carburetor is actually located right down in here, kind of underneath the manifold. Um, so you're really gonna have to kind of detach all of these, uh, the, the fuel line, which comes in from this side. Uh, let's see if we can get up under there. So you've got to detach the fuel line. The If you have a clutch on it, that's what that spring down there is for. That's the, our clutch line. You can kind of see it sticking out right there. There's a little screw. Remove that. Um, remove the air intake. And then on the other side, you've got your throttle right underneath there and this the spring right above the, the throttle is our um, that's just to keep the, the throttle in place when you're not pushing the gas pedal so uh, I'm gonna go take this out and uh, in order to get the carburetor out you will need to remove that manifold so have a pair have a set of manifold gaskets available and we'll take apart that carburetor, take a look inside, and see if we can't clean that out. my carburetor problem the pin as I'm dropping it all right now when this goes down so when I took this apart there was no fuel in there whatsoever um, still taking it apart to clean it better but uh, the pin that allows fuel into the carburetor appears to be stuck There's something that has been like growing up inside there. Ugh. With a carburetor this old, you're not gonna get it absolutely perfect, but that penetrating spray definitely has removed a lot of gunk. It has freed up
floats here and the, the little valve for the floats that was sticking, which was a major problem. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I'm going to spray this down with carburetor cleaner and try and get rid of a lot of the um, yeah, necessary stuff. Wow, it's really gotten a lot cleaner in here. You could actually see the metal again in there. Now I'm just going to spray everything down the same way I did with the penetrating oil, but now I'm going to do it with carb cleaner and hopefully the carb cleaner oh, will help finish the task for us. I'm actually fairly impressed with how this old carburetor has been cleaning up here. There's still some junk here in the float tank, but I don't need to get all of it out as long as it's not going to get into my fuel. I'm fine. I've been able to clean out all of the little passageways in there. But that that carb looks a lot better than it did. Still not perfect, but like I said, it's going to be hard to get this thing absolutely perfect. I might on this piece here just kind of let some of that carb cleaner sit in there for a little while. This is not such a bad looking carb once it's cleaned up a little bit. So we've got the whole carb cleaned out. It's looking a lot better. Um, been putting it back together here. The floats are working. You can see the little needle is moving up and down. That needle was frozen when we started this. The penetrating uh, lube that I put in there actually freed up most of the, the parts and um, removed a lot of the, the bad white stuff. Now I am screwing this back together. I should be putting on a new seal for this. If you don't replace the seal, you're gonna have some leakage. Um, I don't have a seal kit with me today. Probably before I really put this machine back <coughs> operating, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy a carb kit so I can get new gaskets. Um, because this should have a new gasket after taking it apart. It's gotten pretty clean down in there. Can't really see too well, but uh, the main thing here is that all of, all of these parts are, are functioning now. The, the needle will in the float valve will move up and down. Uh, so we got that fixed. Um, gas is passing through everywhere we're, well fluid is passing through i used carburetor cleaner after uh, the pb uh, blaster so uh, i cleaned everything out with the carburetor cleaner i didn't want to leave the pb blaster on there for too long i think that this carburetor will work i cleaned out our ford 3000 carburetor a year ago the same way and that worked as well and you can still see up in here the gasket is still pretty old. Um, I don't want to leave that gasket on there. So what I'm going to do is see if I can find some gaskets for this carburetor. I'm gonna need it for the top anyway. And I'll, I'll put new gaskets on this. But it, right now it's clean, it's, it's functioning. Um, and it, and it, it's looking like it's a carburetor that will work again.